Hi, we're back here with Charles Jennings, and now we're going to explore a business case where uh, we can see the 72010 model at work. I'm Wagner Casimiro, and this is the Espresso Tree. Charles, give me an example uh, of a company that uses the 72010 model. I think one good example of an organization that uses 702010 is Citibank, the big American organization with a quarter of a million people. Citibank, with their three E's model, they don't call it 702010, they call it three E's, learning through experience, through exposure, and through education, uh, based on 702010. Citibank have moved from courses to campaigns. So the major change that they've taken is not looking at solving problems by designing, developing, and delivering courses, but by working with their stakeholders to develop campaigns of change. And they've been really successful. In fact, their campaign called Be More, which is focused on helping individuals be more, do more, be better at their jobs, be better at their work, and helping the organization be more, is very successful. And the campaigns they're using, for example, are things such as the 30-day challenge, where they they challenge people once a day for 30 days to take time out to think about learning and how they can learn better in the workplace, whether that's by uh, talking to people and finding out what people think about how they're performing and therefore improving. It might be through simply taking a few minutes out to have coffee with someone you work with to learn a little more about their job so you understand a little bit more about what's needed for you to do. It might be simply taking your dog for a walk at the end of the day and reflecting on what's gone well, what you could do better the next day, and then sharing it with your colleagues through a social platform across the bank. And it's been extremely successful in terms of helping people focus and understand that using 702010, you can just take a minute or two or three or four minutes a day to reflect on how you're doing, how you could do better, to talk to other people and get their advice and their help and their support, or really just to take the opportunity to, to do things a second and third time and practice uh, through space practice, intentional practice, in order to improve. So I think Citibank have done a really good job. In fact, I've written a, a white paper with the head of learning, for, learning and development for uh, City for Europe, Middle East and Africa, which is available from the... 702010 Institute website that you can download and, and read to give a full detailed account of that. And what are the leaders' role in this process? The leaders play a really important role uh, because unless you have the hearts and minds of leaders, team leaders and managers and senior leaders that understand that they have a role to play in development, we can't simply send people away and hope that magic happens and they come back and everything works. So research going back to the 1980s shows that leaders and managers have a critical role in ensuring that development happens and in that they need to understand what development needs to occur and they need to support people in terms of giving challenges, making sure that they're giving feedback and supporting in, in many ways. In fact, I've worked recently with a large Danish energy company that surveyed 3,000 of its managers, and they found that the characteristic that most corresponded with high performance in teams was managers who had stretch assignments, who actually were given stretch challenging work, and that was the most correlated factor with high performance. So just thinking about that, the only person who's going to be able to, to challenge you and give you challenging work is your manager. So if managers understand this, you know, that they are likely, therefore, to have higher performing teams. And again, another piece of research I was involved with where we looked at managers who were focused and effective at developing their people as opposed to another group who were not very focused and not effective at developing their people. And those people who work for managers who not only delivered on their operational objectives but who focused on developing their people, those teams outperformed others by around about a day a week, in fact more than a day a week, 27%. Uh, and not only did they outperform, but they were more engaged as well. They were better able to continue to be productive in times of change. So if there was a merger and acquisition, downsizing, some sort of change going on, 
those people who simply had managers who were better at helping them develop perform better. So there's all sorts of different evidence that shows that em employing processes supporting development in the workplace are far more impactful than simply sending people off for a training course and then bringing them back and hoping magic happens. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Business case that use the seven days. Our stomach is also doing nice. Yes, yes, yes. She, she, my laugh. Yeah, yeah. Small laugh, do you know? Yeah, my stomach, yeah. Small laugh. <laughs>